In this video, we will look at how to do the WSP, PTR, ATR, or PTR for our previous submission. So here we click on that section on the left, and then we click on the current active window. And over here we can see our uh, approved submission. Here we can click on open WSP. And that brings us to this screen, which shows the financial period, the main SDL number, the company name, and there's also an audit tracker. So to begin with, these are the 13 forms that you're most likely used to, uh, but we're going to fill them in one by one. So number one, we have the WSP PTP, and we can then do either add a new profile and fill in this over here, or we can do a bulk upload where we will upload an Excel file, or we can download the template. So of course, when you click on download the template, that's what actually gets that Excel file. And it looks like this, and you can actually download that. Okay, once you have that open, it looks like this, and you can fill this out. Okay, just make sure that everything you enter makes sense in terms of the numbers that you put. So for example, if I have five African males, five African females, and five of them are disabled, and I'm going to have four colored males, four colored females, two disabled, I'm going to have two Indian males, two Indian females, one disabled, uh, four white males, four white females, and three disabled. And then you have all that over there. So you would just fill in as many of these rows as you want to, or need to rather. And once you are done, you would save. And then this is the file that you will then upload onto the system. Okay, yeah, that is achieved by clicking the bulk upload button and then choosing the file that you want to upload. Okay, it'll look like that and you click on the bulk upload button and you'll see here an example of the error messages that you can get. So if your submission has any problems in, the system will let you know. So over here we have row four, age group totals need to be equal to all the demographic totals, i.e. black, colored, Indian, and white totals. Skills groups total need to be equal to all the dem demographic totals, and so on. So that's just indicating that I have left out something from my submission. So if we go back to the Excel file that I uploaded, you'll notice that I left out all these columns over here. So over here we need to specify Uh, how many are in the age group less than 35? Okay, so you will then enter that information, but to do that you need to know how many people we have. We have 15 males and 15 females, so let's just say 15 of them are less than 35, um, 10 are from 35 to 55, that gives us 25, and we have to do 5 more. And then how many of them are in the junior or novice skill level? Let's say 20 and then five and five. Okay, that should fix that. So I'm gonna save this and then we're going to upload that again. So bulk upload and choose file. All right, so you'll see here that we have successfully added one record. And then if, if you want to use the the add new profile section, which is much better. We click on that, we can choose the OFO major as well as a sub major directly on the system instead of if we going through Excel. And here we enter all the numbers on the system directly. So I'm going to have 10, 10, 5, 5. You can use the tab key to go through these, by the way. It's much easier. All 
All right, then the age groups. So how many do we have here? Let's say 20 there. 10 here. And 24, I think is right. So I'm going to say 10, 20, and 24. So again, all these numbers need to add up correctly for you to get through by clicking on save. Okay, so successfully added profile. I just want to show you what it looks like if you actually get it wrong. So I wanted to try to add a new one. So if I do this and I click on save, uh, the numbers don't add up correctly. So it's going to tell you that an error has occurred. Please check your numbers and try to submit again. And it gives you some hints such as for each row, total male plus total female equals age bigger than 35, age 35 to 55 plus age bigger than 55. Basically, that you it's telling you that your sums need to make sense in terms of if you have 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 people over here. You need to have 80 people reflecting in the age groups and 80 people reflecting in the skill group, the skill level numbers. So if I can try to fix that one, uh, that means I'm going to have, to have these add up to 80, 20, and 20. I'm just going to do the same thing over here. And now when I click on save, I did something else wrong. What does it say? Please check and make sure the form is complete. Make sure to select the OFO. Okay, so I've missed, oh, I've missed the OFO major over here. Yeah, so it does help you out, these error messages. I'm going to click on save. And there I've added another profile. Here we can do company details so we can specify the address so once you've saved company details it'll tell you that you've successfully submitted the details you can click on there to confirm that they were saved 